I just want to make sure the microphones are off so I can uh, speak uh, un unconfronted. Fiona, just the answer to your question is that um, there are two things that haven't been proven. One is that any of these experiments are scalable. Uh, and to David's point about administrability, um, I ran the earned income tax credit program for five years, and I can assure you that all the micro tink tinkering that is written into it today is difficult to administer, uh, as the IRS will tell you. Secondly, it hasn't been proven that it will work. Um, you can look at experiments with lots of focus in specific audiences, which David has done and shown that in specific cases you can get somewhere, but can you scale it for 25 million people or some subset? And we don't know either of those things. So in addition to what was just described, it, it becomes, I think, a problem in general for us, which is scalability, which is why the R2S project works so well because we can scale and, and to the point we will ultimately, I think, make some differences. But those are just provocative comments for me. Um, I just want to spend a moment to thank everyone for spending their time today. Um, uh, we really have had a packed day with some really interesting stuff. I know that folks have heard parts of it, but I don't think anybody has seen the, the complete picture of the conversations we had. And um, I think that's really a testament to the people who spoke, um, some of whom have already departed. <laughs> I will be uh, making a beeline for the airport momentarily, but I do want to thank on behalf of our organizing partners, first of all, our, our keynote speakers, Representative Serrano, who, uh, who reminded us of his mastery of, of public speaking after 40 years. He, uh, he was fascinating and really provocative. Uh, certainly, Melissa Coity brought uh, a, a weight and passion to uh, her conversation, particularly about my IRA, and I think we'll hear more about that. Um, I'd certainly like to thank our hosts, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. I mean, thank you so much for rolling this out and making us feel a part of this. It's not every day one has a meeting at the Fed. It looks great on your calendar, um, particularly when your boss is looking. Um, uh, Colleen Briggs at uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, thanks for the, being the momentum to convene this group. We really do appreciate uh, your work. Jonathan Mintz and uh, Tamara Lindsay from the Cities for Financial Empowerment. Uh, for being our original thought partners, which um, I did not know that, actually. I thought you were our original thought partner there, Michal. Um, and, of course, the New America Foundation for spreading the word. And I, I wouldn't be remiss if I didn't mention Dan Ariely and his always interesting and provocative commentary. Um, last, I do want to thank uh, Michal and her team uh, at WashU, Janie Oliphant, uh, Megan Brewster, uh, Dana Parenti, Meredith Covington, and Samuel Taylor, who are strewn around the audience that have been helping all day. A uh, special thank you to Krista Holub, who works with me, uh, used to work with Michal, and I stole her. Um, and with that, let me just say thank you again for your participation and more to come. And did I forget anything, Michal? Pardon me? Oh, last thing. I know each of you has a program. Inside the program, you'll find a loose leaf, which is the evaluation form. Uh, we would really appreciate your feedback um, because the next one of these we will make better based on what you tell us. So in the meantime, have a great afternoon. Thank you so much.